Business protection uh, would fall under the heading of life cover, um, and you know, maybe not a very uh, positive after dinner conversation, uh, but it's an area that certainly within a business it's worth giving some consideration. And really, what business protection about is about is making sure that we get the right money into the right hands at the right time. So statistically, then, if we're thinking about protecting a business, what are the odds? Uh, of something going wrong. Here we have some statistics ind independently collated which show that in a business of four people, during the lifetime of the business, there's a 29% chance that a male, one of the males will die and therefore be removed from the business equation. Similarly, um, for a female, there's a 59% chance that they could find themselves out of the business equation either permanently or temporarily temporarily. So it is something that is worth consideration. The dynamic can change uh, very quickly. Uh, we'll look at a typical SME business. We're talking about the SME marketplace where people are, are names rather than numbers. So these are very real issues um, where you're wanting to help your colleagues and friends. But in a typical business you will have people working together with different areas of specialization. They don't necessarily need to know what their colleagues are doing. They know that they work as a team. They know that the business works from their combined efforts. So if we call our company ABC Systems Limited, and we have the four business owners, as I said before, each have their own area of expertise, and they're quite confident in the ability of their colleagues. Alan, Frank, Peter, and Anne. One morning, Frank wakes up dead. Bit of a nuisance, really. Um, but it's just indicative of how quickly these things can happen. The whole dynamic of the business changes quite dramatically. And that's where having protection in place can ease that burden um, and allow the business to continue efficiently going forward. But the sort of issues that the company will now need to face is how they're going to go about sourcing a replacement, the financial implications of doing it. On a personal level, they will have you know, a colleague whose family member has passed away, uh, or, you know, that has passed away, and they will want to be able to help that family going forward. Um, and on a more uh, monetary basis, in terms of the shareholding, quite often there can be a bit of a grey area, and absolutely, you know, what happens to the shares of the deceased party. So again, it's important to have a mechanism or a plan in place there. So within financial services. Um, we shop around the marketplace to find the best solutions. We work with the providers to find which are going to you know, provide the best products um, and the technical and legal side of things to make sure that everything is put in place efficiently so that there are no uh, tax problems going forward. So in terms of business continuity, the main problem for the business is that they need to source a replacement. There are financial implications for that, uh, so the injection of capital into the business will help the business while that replacement is sourced and brought up to speed. So again, it's easing the, the problems in that particular area. In terms of the, the personal level, um, they suddenly have an injection of cash which they can pass on to the family, uh, Frank's family, uh, to try and help out and ease their burden in their time of need. Uh, money always helps. And whether the shares are going directly to Frank's widow or to the other parties, Funds can be raised quite cost effectively to enable that acquisition to take place um, and ensuring these benefits certainly are a much more viable and uh, pleasant alternative uh, than without such cover. So if I can ask you to play devil's advocate for a second, um, there will be consequences for an unprotected business in terms of their customers, the competition, creditors, bank manager, etc. In terms of customers, certainly there will be a reduction in confidence. They may well have their doubts. So, you know, with the the, um, the help of capital to keep the business going, those may well those uh, fears may well be assuaged. In terms of the competition, you would hope not, but there is a possibility that they may decide to take advantage um, of the unfortunate position that the company is in. In terms of trade creditors, um, if you're not dealing with our, our flexible and professional colleagues that are with me today, there may well be issues there. 
uh, but again, the, the provision of a lump sum would remove that particular problem as well. And again, not to be a bank basher either, but certainly, you know, in such a situation, it may well be that the bank will be guided very much by policy and bureaucracy than they would be by compassion um, and looking at the, the practical difficulties that the company finds itself in. So we're there to provide solutions uh, to all of these particular issues. As a fundamental for, for business protection, we would suggest that business borrowings, whether they be uh, loan accounts, third party loans uh, or overdrafts, should all be protected by life cover. Um, it's a very simple process and probably more cost effective than you may imagine uh, to get such borrowings covered and protected by life cover and certainly the cost can be spread around the various uh, individuals in the business to spread out the different risk that people of different age groups may bring to the table uh, and we're very experienced in doing that. Um, so otherwise in the absence of business protection any debts etc will have to be paid out of the estate and it means that uh, personal security may well be impacted upon and it's certainly a much more cost efficient alternative to look at uh, business protection being in place instead. So that, um, as I say, although it isn't compulsory, we really believe that it should be uh, an imperative for every business going forward.